Hello boys and girls. My name is Miss Paula and I'm coming to you with story time from the library in Vermont. Today we've got a book that's very nice and it's very nice for the season because if you look around in your neighborhood in your yard you're going to find a lot of birds are very busy at this time of year with nests and babies. This book is called The Nest That Wren Built. A wren is a little bird that looks like this. It's by Randy Sonenshine. These are the twigs dried in the sun that Papa collected one by one to cradle the nest that Wren built. Well, here's the nest. It needs a little more work, doesn't it? And Papa is helping. Look at little squirrel. He's just looking. This is the bark. Snippets of twine, spidery rootlets, and needles of pine that shape the nest that Wren built. So mother bird and father bird, they don't just use sticks. They don't use just grass or just anything. They use all different kinds of things because they have to make the nest and they don't have a hammer and they don't have any nails. These are the leaves of ruby and gold fallen from trees that are sturdy and old that weave through the nest that wren built. She's taking a beautiful leaf. Ruby is another word for red. This is the sack. Silky and white, brimming with spiders who feast on the mites that threaten the nest that Wren built. This is the snakeskin warding off harm, a scaly and thin reptilian charm draped on the nest that Wren built. There it is. So look at all the different things that go in a nest. Did you think they would have a, a, a snakeskin? I didn't. I, that's a surprise to me. Look at the little squirrel. He's watching to see how the nest is coming along. This is the moss, softer than suede, stolen from stones cool in the shade to line the nest that Wren built. There's little creatures. She's taking moss. Moss is so nice and soft. These are the feathers Petals, a petal is from a flower, and thread placed on the moss to soften the bed. Look, you can tell it's going to be soft. That waits in the nest that Wren built. This is the tuft of rabbity fur plucked from a sharp, persnickety bird to warm the nest that Wren built. This is Papa, perching nearby, chirping a mirthful song to the sky and guarding the nest that Wren built. So they don't just make a, a nest, the birds, they make one that's safe for their babies. These are the eggs laid on the bed of velvety moss, feathers, and thread. There's that snake skin safe in the nest that Wren built. It's a beautiful nest, isn't it? And just think about it. Birds don't have hands. Birds have to do all that with their beaks and their little feet. These are the hatchlings. That's what you call a baby bird that's coming out of the shell. These are the hatchlings, scratching within, stretching and pecking, all scrawny and thin. Scrawny means they don't have a lot of weight yet. They're just, they're still so little. 
that hatch in the nest that Wren built. Look, there's a little beak coming up there. This is Papa hunting for food, a spider or beetle to nourish the brood that waits in the nest that Wren built. These are the nestlings, drowsy and fed, snuggly and plump on their feathery bed, warm in the nest that Wren built. Look at them all together there. These are the fledglings, 14 days old. They inch to the edge while feathers unfold. They're only 14 days old. That means for two weeks they've been in the nest and all at once they're learning to do what? Fly. Then they fly from the nest that Wren built. Oh, look, who's that? Mama and Daddy. And who's flying off? The baby birds. Well, here comes a little mouse at night to say, hey, what happened? They weren't here. A very nice book about birds, isn't it? Well, I hope you're enjoying the time that it's warm and you can get out and have a good time in the yard. And I hope, though, that you will remember story time and come back next week because we've got another good story waiting for you. It's time, it's time, it's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, boys and girls.